The man you're looking at is 56-year-old Stephen Groves. For two whole years, Groves has been harassing his disabled neighbor Stephen Persaud and his caretakers. The harassment has been caught on Persaud's ring doorbell camera multiple times. In some clips, he's seen taking a screwdriver to the device trying to clip its wires. In another clip, he's seen scrawling on the lens with a marker to no effect. And in these instances, whacking the device with a hammer or broom handle. The reason behind the man's attacks on his neighbor's property are unknown. Over the past six months, Groves has been convicted of three charges of harassment against Persaud and has been put on a curfew and ordered to pay compensation for damages to Persaud's property. Stephen Persaud's niece is terrified for her uncle, having stated this is affecting her mental health and she's scared that Groves may have intentions to harm her uncle. The restraining order that was put into place is clearly having no effect as Groves is still harassing Persaud. On top of the restraining order, Groves has been put on an electric tag for the better part of a year and was also ordered 20 weeks of rehabilitation. Police don't seem to be able or willing to do anything more to help considering this has already been taken to court and Groves has been convicted multiple times, leaving Persaud in a very vulnerable spot. The crazy can be seen in this man's eyes, and it's understandable for Persaud and his niece to be losing sleep over this as this is a clearly dangerous, unstable man who may escalate from just attacking Persaud's property to actually attacking him. This next video was recorded in an unknown area at a late hour in the night. Two hooded, suspicious-looking individuals, one wearing a mask, approach a man's front door, and when he answers, the woman pretends that her car broke down and she needs to borrow a phone. The man's first mistake is opening the door at this hour to two hooded individuals, being that his ring camera would have allowed him to check who's at the door before opening it. Instead of opening the door, if he felt the need to respond to the people at his front door, he could have and should have used the voice feature on his ring device to ask who they were and what they need. Instead, the man opens the door, and while admittedly he knew better than to agree to let them use a phone, We don't. We don't. Sorry. Opening the door in the first place was a mistake, as the man in the yellow hoodie and mask took the opportunity to rush the door with a gun after taking one last look to the right to check for witnesses. Luckily, the homeowner slammed the door shut just in time, and the two would-be assailants fled the scene. In this case, the homeowner saved himself from robbery and danger just by the skin of his teeth, and hopefully learned to check who's at his door before answering. If you've seen any of my other videos about doorbell camera footage, then you'd know the importance of checking your surroundings before unlocking and opening your door, especially depending on the area in which you live. In this video taken by the Ring doorbell camera of TikToker Jojo Ramirez, you see just how close she and her child were from danger and how the only thing between her and a creepy man was her front door, which she locked with only seconds to spare. Who is that? Get out of here. Who is that? Get out of here! She then exclaims to her son, there's a guy outside, look. There's a guy outside! Ugh. As Jojo shouts for him to leave, he backs up, but boldly continues firmly standing in front of the door with his haunting blank expression, not saying a word. The man came out of nowhere so quickly that it could be that he was following them for a while or perhaps was waiting for them to return. It's anybody's guess what would have happened if the door wasn't locked in time, but a pretty strong assumption would be the man was after Daniel, Jojo's young son. 
This footage was viewer submitted, and it was taken by their ring doorbell in a nice, otherwise quiet neighborhood in the Netherlands. The viewer was in bed on an ordinary night, when he heard noises on the roof. Thinking it could have been an animal, he ignored it and went to sleep. The next morning, this was the footage he found after seeing the notifications from his ring doorbell from the night before. In the video are three, maybe four young men trespassing on his property, two of them climbing the roof, while the other of the three who are visible, whispering to one or more people out of view of the camera. Luckily, this was a cold night and all the windows in the house were closed because it was clear they were trying to burglarize the house when scratch marks were found on two of the upstairs windows as if someone was attempting to lift them open. Given that there were three or four of them, they could have posed a serious threat if they were to have entered the home. After viewing the video, the viewer made sure to keep his windows all locked the following nights and a few nights later, he woke up to the sound of someone attempting to open a downstairs window, this time not caught by the ring camera. The footage was submitted to the police in hopes that they could identify them based on their faces. I was asked to blur their faces by the viewer, just so that if any of the perpetrators were to see this video, they wouldn't come back to the house again for any type of revenge. This one is perhaps one of the simpler yet scarier clips caught by a doorbell camera, despite how quick it is. Not many details are known, like where this took place, but this was uploaded by the neighbor of the owner of the ring camera. In the video, we see in the dead of night a masked, young-looking man approach the front door of a house with a gun in his hand, stand there for only a few seconds, clearly contemplating what he was about to do, then backing out probably in fear and leaving. The owner of the house didn't know who this was, but this was probably a person working up to an armed robbery, possibly having his sights specifically on this house. Of course, without all the details, that's just speculation, and there could be a whole lot of other explanations as to what's going on here. However, regardless, the chances of this guy or any other person with a gun coming back shouldn't be taken lightly. And that kind of footage should be submitted to the police immediately.